Okay, in this video I will be showing you a high pressure air supply that I made from a cylinder, the one you see here. I found this floating in the ocean, believe it or not, when I was out in the water. There was a, a valve on here which was able to unthread. The hole was very small. It was made out of Monel, which is a highly corrosion resistant metal, and it was metric. And when I looked at the cylinder, it was rated at 65 bar right here, 65 bar. It's going to be very hard to see with this camera. One bar is equivalent to around 15 PSI. So this is rated for around 950 PSI, the cylinder. It was made in 2010. Now, being a scuba diver, I opened up the cylinder. Once this was removed from the cylinder, I then looked inside, just like I do with my scuba tanks. I performed a visual inspection. I checked out the neck with a mirror and a very bright light and I checked the inside of the cylinder. There was zero corrosion inside the cylinder and the neck was perfect. I didn't see any signs of hairline cracking or anything else. So pretty much I could safely fill the cylinder to half the rating. So if it was 940 or 950, I could fill it up to around 450 to 500, which is what I'm able to do using the setup you see here. Now the other part of this that I needed to make this work, let me lay this down that like that, put that there. A friend of mine was throwing away a pneumatic spear gun and what I did is I decided to keep the high pressure pump which you see right here. It's got the special end, there's a little tiny hole, o-ring. Inside here is a rod and there's a piece of nylon with a rubber cup that compresses the air. This will do up to 500 psi believe it or not. It's about 20 inches long it's hard to see in the whole camera here, the view, 20 inches long. And he actually had another one of these that was really corroded, the rest of it, and it wasn't pumping right, and I kept that. I also kept the part of the gun, all right, right here, where the fill valve is. This unscrewed, it's metric, it's 10 millimeter metric. And inside this, I'll give you a couple of close-up pictures to look at right here. Inside this fitting is a steel ball with a spring that seats on a hard piece of rubber. It's always kept closed, especially with the pressure in here, pushing it closed. And what happens? You thread this fitting right here into this, just like this. That's fully seated. The O-ring now is sealed in here. And I can now pump up my cylinder to up to 450 to 500 PSI. The fittings are all yellow brass, very thick wall. Everything you see here has been brazed together. This is not soldered. The metals have been joined using very high temperatures by brazing them together with a silver bearing rod. Now this is very useful for people that are into air rifles and any other thing that they want to use compressed air for. In this case I have a ball valve right here. But after this ball valve you could put a very small solenoid that operates on 12 volts that can handle 3, 4, 500 psi and when you push a momentary button, you can have up to 500 PSI being discharged through that line in a very short burst. So you could fire something out of a tube. And the beauty of this is, the way I made it, I also found this Schrader valve on an old truck. I think it was from the 1960s on a large truck. And the, the brass on this is extremely thick. When I cut it off, the walls were almost an eighth of an inch thick with just a small hole, maybe an eighth in the center. So what I did is I wanted to be able to fill this with my air compressor up to 125 PSI. Once the 125 PSI is in, then I can use the pump. This will basically saves me time because it does take time and many pumps to fill the cylinder up to 400 PSI because of its size. So that's why I wanted the Schrader valve was to help eliminate some of that pumping by at least getting this cylinder to 125 PSI before I started pumping this up. So
So that is the setup. This threads in nicely. Inside here there was a metric thread. So what I did is I drilled it out and I tapped it with a quarter inch pipe tap. On this part here from the spear gun, this is brass with a plating over it. I ground down the 10 millimeter threads just enough that I can get it to go inside the quarter inch T. Once it was inside the quarter inch T, I then braised this together all the way around. Once I braised this together all the way around, then I reinstalled the spring, the ball, and the rubber seal inside this fitting. If I would have left it in before, it would have all been torched. The ball valve I picked up at a hardware store. The brass pipe fittings are all thick walled, yellow brass. Now what I made out of the leftover pump, let me unscrew this. All right, you can see the seal, the O-ring seal on here. Was this pressure gauge. I want to know exactly what my pressure is inside this tank. So what I did is I cut off the end right here that you see from the old one that was corroded. The rest of this was all corroded and the rubber seals were all shot. I took that off and then I took a brass nut and I inserted it into the brass nut, brazed that together, and I threaded it onto one of these pressure gauges which reads up to 600 PSI. And before I threaded this piece that I braced together onto the pressure gauge, I inserted a nail. And the nail only sticks out, it's a common nail, a box nail, it only sticks out enough so once it goes inside the fitting here to fill, it's going to push down on the steel ball and allow the pressure to be read on the gauge. So what I'm going to do now is thread this in and show you what the pressure is. Kind of tough to do with one hand, but you'll hear it go up in a minute. Okay, and we are showing right around 280 PSI. Now when I go to unthread it, you'll hear a little bit of a hiss around the O-ring. That's it. That's all the air you lose just to test it. And it is great. So I have a way to check the pressure, a way to pump it up, and I have a cylinder right here that I can use for a lot of different applications. It's a great idea. Hopefully you can take advantage of this and use it for your projects as well. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.